Okay, in this video we're going to go over number four from the Calc AB and BC exams in 2017, and it's kind of a differential equation problem, I guess. Um, it's about a potato, which uh, everyone who took the exam seemed to enjoy. And so we're told that um, for... Uh, what are we told? We're told that there's a model, dh dt uh, equals negative one-fourth uh, times h minus 27, where h of t is measured in degrees Celsius, and h of 0 is 91. We're also told in the problem that um, for this model, uh, h is greater than 27 for all t greater than 0. Um, okay, so let's, let's dive in. So the first part is we have to write an equation, uh, the line tangent to the graph of h at t equals 0, and use the equation to approximate the internal temperature of the potato at t equals 3. So, uh, sometimes people have trouble with this because of the variables that are involved. So we're finding dh dt at t equals 0. So dh dt such that t equals 0 um, is obviously going to be negative 1 fourth. And then we have to plug in the h value that's associated with t equals 0. But we're told in the problem that h of 0 is 91. So that's going to be 91 and then minus 27. And 91 minus 27 is 64, and negative 1 fourth of that is negative 16. So that's the slope, and now we need to write the equation line. So I'm going to use y as my variable. So it's y minus 91 equals negative 16, which is a slope, and then uh, t minus 0. And so that's point-slope form, and you can leave it like that. And we also have to approximate um, h when t equals 3. So h of 3 is going to be approximately... 91 minus 16 times 3, and if you work that out, you get uh, 43, and then that's going to be in degrees Celsius. So uh, that's all we had to do in part A. Let's take a look at part B. So part B, uh, we're using the same given information, and we're asked to use the second derivative, which is what d squared h dt squared, um, that's what that means, to determine whether your answer in part A is an over or underestimate of the internal temperature. So uh, I guess we have to find the second derivative, so that's going to be a little bit of implicit differentiation. So the second derivative is going to be uh, negative one-fourth, and then the derivative of h is dh dt, the derivative of 27 is zero, so it's just negative one-fourth dh dt. But if you look, dh dt is given, so that's negative one-fourth and negative one-fourth the quantity h minus 27. And this simplifies, and it's useful to simplify this, into um, 1 16th, so positive 1 16th, and then the quantity h minus 27. So this is the second derivative. We're also told in the original problem that h is always greater than 27. So since h is always greater than 27, um, anytime t is greater than 0, uh, we know that uh, the second derivative here must also be greater than 0 because the only way that you could get a negative is to plug in a value that's less than 27. So we know that um, d, the second derivative is greater than 0 from 0 to 3. And that means that h is concave up. And if um, the function is concave up, then we know that the tangent line is below the curve. So the tangent line gave us an underestimate. And that's actually all we had to do in part B. So let's move on to part C, where they completely change the function that you're dealing with. So um, in this case, uh, for t less than 10, they give us an alternate model, which is dg dt is negative quantity g minus 27 to the 2 thirds. And uh, we also know that g of 0 is 91, so the same initial condition. And we have to find an expression for g of t. So we have to solve this differential equation. If you look at it, you can see that um, it's dg dt. So t is the independent variable. So this is entirely written in terms of the dependent variable. So this is a separate and integrate problem. So let's uh, separate and integrate. So dg over g minus 27 to the 2 thirds is negative dt. And then we want to integrate, and I'm also going. I'm just going to bring the g minus 27 to the two thirds. I'm going to bring that up with a negative exponent. So g minus 27 to the negative two thirds, dg is negative dt, and throw some integral signs in there. On the left hand side, it's plus one, which, so negative two thirds plus one is one third times the reciprocal. So it's going to be three, the quantity g minus 27 to the one third, and then that's the left hand side. 
the right hand side the integral of negative dt is just negative t but then plus c because I like to put the plus c on the side with the independent variable which you can tell is the independent variable because it's the denominator of dg dt um, and now I'm going to solve for c using the uh, initial condition which was t equals 0 and g equals 91 so that's 3 and then 91 minus 27 1 third equals c because of the 0 and 91 minus 27 is 64 the cube root of that is 4 so I get that c equals 12 let me work this out c equals 12 so I'm not done though because I need to solve for g so there's a lot of uh, algebra in this problem so we have this um, and then uh, divide by 3 and cube. No, so divide by 3. And now I have to cube both sides. So I get this. It's just a lot of algebra. Um, and you can probably do this a lot faster than I'm showing. So g is 27 plus the quantity negative 1 third t plus 4 and then cubed. Okay, so that's an expression for g. And then I need to find g of 3, so just plug in 3. And I get this, which is 27 plus 27, so 54 degrees Celsius. And there you go. Um, that was all of question 4. So I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.